Okay, here's the thing I wanna to talk to you about today. It's called micro moments in your life. You see, there are little things in your life that make the decisions that you take that will either make your business or your life go this way or that way. Let me just give you a quick example. I was uh, doing a bit of an end of year, as you know, I do a breakdown to breakthrough with all my clients at the end of the year, and I was giving them the story around, for me, what the micro moments look like in our lives, just to break it down and peel it back so you get a clear understanding of what micro moments can look like for you. So it was really funny. It wasn't too long ago, my wife and my son were having this argument around, you know, playing PS4. And my son was arguing, saying, he needs more time on the PS4. Other kids in his school play for about two or three hours a day, and he's only allowed like an hour, like on the weekends. And as you can see, my, my, my wife is a bit draconian. No, just kidding, honey, I hope you're not watching this. She's not draconian at all. But you know what? Here's the thing. I could hear this conversation going on, and I'm sitting on the lounge. I don't know about you, but we don't want to have one of those days, and you feel like everybody's just taking a lot, a lot from you, and it was a big day with a lot of clients. And I sat in the lounge and I just wanted some time out. And then I could hear this argument going on between my wife and my son about the PS4. You see, we have these choices. I had the choice then to just sit and do nothing about it and let it go on. And at one point my son went upstairs and he was angry and he went up to his room and, you know, and I had to get involved. I could be like that typical husband that doesn't support his wife, perhaps. Not typical husband, I shouldn't say that, but a husband that doesn't support his wife and let them just go through. And I could also be the father that doesn't get involved and doesn't care and just sit on the lounge and watch the tube, the TV, right? But I decided, in my head, I'm going, this is, this is a micro moment right here, but I need to make that decision to say, I'm the type of father that will get up and explain to my son exactly what my wife is saying to him and how that's gonna benefit him down the long run. And the same thing I said, I'm the type of husband that will get up and support his wife and understand what's going on. You see, because if I don't do that, not now, not at that moment there, but maybe in three or four years time, if I let that become a habit and not do anything about it at that time, it doesn't become an overnight event where people get separated or people lose love for each other. It becomes, it's these little micro moments in your life that add up and then one day my wife might go, I've had enough, I'm out of here. But I decided to say, I'm the type of husband, I'm the type of father. Think about in your own business perhaps, where you know you need to make the calls. You know you, right? And you need to make those 30 calls a day and in that moment, when you know it's 10 o'clock, you need to hit the phones and have those conversations with the people that you serve. And at that point, you're thinking about going onto realestate.com, going onto YouTube, jumping onto Facebook or social media, whatever it may be. And in that moment, when you know you need to make those calls and you don't make it, all of a sudden your business slides this way versus projecting that way to success. And it's all these little micro moments that we have in our life when we make those decisions. And when you hesitate, it's almost like, I don't want to get affirmation with you, but I do want you to use these type of words. I'm the type of person that gets on the phone, makes 30 calls with no distractions, and gets one appraisal. You start to say that to yourself because it's all about self-talk today, guys. What happens between our ears? What we say to each other. Because what we say becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, so if you say I'm the type of person that makes 30 conversations and reach out to my clients and book one appointment a day, and you say, and then in that moment, you pick up the phone and you start making those 30 calls, guess what? Your business by the end of the year will be a totally different business versus the one where the micro moment goes, oh, I'm just gonna jump on Facebook and not make those calls, and I'll do five calls instead of 30. So do you understand what I'm saying? Today, it's about your micro moments in your life being personal and also in your business. Every time you hit a micro moment, say to yourself, I'm the type of person that.